Here's a demonstration of how circular motion works. So here's a toy car that has no steering wheel, so it can only go straight. But if I want to make it turn, I have to apply a force. If I want to make it turn into a circle, I've got to apply a perpendicular force. So I'm going to use the spring scale and the hook on the end to pull perpendicular to the path of the car's motion and see if I can get it to turn into a circle. This is how all circular motion works. There's always a pull towards the center of the circle that moves the object from a straight line path to a circular path. That inward pull is called the centripetal force. And in this case, that centripetal force is being provided by the force of tension in the spring scale. Once that centripetal force is removed, the object will go back to a straight line path as if it had no net force acting on it. So if I remove this force, the object just moves off in a straight line.